Uh, hi, I'm going to do a quick walk and talk through Cluck Hole Hen. It's a simple tune, it's a very short tune so it's easy to remember. It's a good one to learn early on in your banjo playing because of that, because it's easy to remember because you get a nice recognisable tune really quickly and easily. Uh, it's in sawmill tuning though, so if you've only played in standard G you need to, to work out sawmill. Sawmill tuning is the same as standard G except for this string, the second string. So this is G, D, um, G, C, and then D. So the only difference is this. This is B normally. You just tune from B to C. So that's sawmill tuning. Um, and then just a very quick run through of the tune. super straight and simple but we'll be talking about the ornamentations as we go through the tune the basic tune goes like this uh, and that's the A part you do that so that was twice through the A part twice the A part's really short so is the B part uh, and then the B part goes. So that that's the B part. Um, again, pretty straight with no ornamentation. The tune goes like this. That's open first string, fifth fret to the third fret. And then you stay on the third fret. And then you go back to the fifth fret and then you play the second string open. And then open first string again. And then third fret first string again. Open first string, third fret on the third string and then open third string. So like this. Okay, that's the A part. That's one A part anyway. And then the B part goes like this. Oh, the third string here. Okay. So that's open third string, third fret, third string. And then third fret, fourth string. And then you go again, open third string, third fret, third string, and then open second string, second fret, second string, third fret, third string, open third string. She lays, she lays eggs for railroad men. Okay. Uh, so, just to play it really, really straight. through um, both A and B parts. So to put some ornamentation in then. So the first thing we're going to do is a, what's called a hammer on. So instead of playing hitting that twice we're going to go a, do a hammer on. So 
the hammer on is where you pluck once and, and make the second note by hitting hard with, with your left hand, right hand if you're left-handed. That's the hammer on. That's a normal strike. That's a hammer on. So you can strike with your finger on the third and hammer on to the fifth. In the third string, instead of plucking twice, you just pluck once and then make the second note by pulling this finger off. Just sort of pluck it off. So. And then we're on the B part, so. there. Okay, now there, we started adding brushes, so let's do that. And we do that in the B part, so it's... So the brush is a quarter note. Finish with the thumb, so it goes nice and slow across the strings. So we've got hammer ons. now so we can do what's called a slide so here we go we'll go hammer on so the slide just goes from the third to the fourth fret and then it's a pull off a slide and a pull off together. And it works nicely. I wouldn't mix them up, but it works nicely from second to third. And it works nicely from third to fourth. Decide which you like and stick with it. Um, test them, see what you think. Anyway, uh, so we've got hammer ons. Notice then I form it in a drop thumb. Normally, your thumb hits the fifth string. The drop thumb is where it comes onto one of the other strings. Practice that and you'll get used to it pretty quickly. Make yourself practice for a couple of weeks and, and it'll just happen. Then you'll know how to do it then. Instead of playing the second string um, later on in the sequence, you play it higher up on the fourth fret, and then you. And so this is how it goes. So there you get the slide and a pull off. there 
then one last thing to, that you can add to this uh, is what's called a galax lick. So that's a slow brush finishing with a really uh, deliberate pop off the fifth string. What that you're doing there, the fifth string normally is put on the offbeat, so one and two and three and four on the ands basically. That's double thumbing, but it's always on the if it's bum ditty, the second of those and one and two and. Okay, anyway, that's the, the, the thumbing, but in this, it actually comes on the beat. And that's quite a traditional way of playing the tune. adding um, everything you can to this. There might be ways to put in things called alternate string pull-offs, um, but I'm not going to worry about those now. And yeah, I hope that that adds to your Flacol Hen playing. Basic. That's it. Thanks for uh, watching. Hope it helps. Cheers.